Now, uh, I'll just add, add that there. So you see we can add all of these elements and all of these things on the left hand side you can have a play with. You can add in all kinds of things, even a place where kids can submit assessments. But a really crucial element is the column, uh, is to create columns, to create a table. And I just want to show you how to do that now. So up the top here we have the basics, but if you just look under structure we've got this column tool here. And what I'm going to do is drag that, click and drag that over here. And I'm going to put it up the top there. And you see now we've got two um, two cells. And I can change that by clicking up here and change it to three or four or five columns. I can have as many columns as I want. So let's say that I want to have four columns. See, one, two, three, four. And then if I click on this box here for option one, I can drag that option into the column, see, like this. There it is. And I can drag option two. I can drag option two there. And then that image, which is way too big anyway, I can drag option I can drag that up here. I just drag it up till I can see a blue line. And it just shrinks beautifully into there. And then I could create a third option. So I can now um, I can now drag text from the left, see I'm dragging it from the left, and drag that into that fourth column. And type in, I don't know, option, option three. Uh, uh, actually, let's call that option four. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Then I can also drag text in here, just above that image. I can drag text wherever I want. I can do whatever I like. Option 3. Okay. And I can drag everything. So I can click here and drag option 3 down here. Easy. And then I can drag it back up again. Easy. I can put anything wherever I want it to go. So uh, if you wanted to do a uh, Bloom's Gardener's Matrix, can you just go away there? Now I'm going to click on Publish right now, actually. Click on Publish. Alright, and again, I can just ignore that and just get rid of it. But if I go back over here to the actual website, Right, with that special website address, year9hist.webly.com, and I refresh, it's all there. Everything's there. The image should arrive in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to refresh this page. Okay, it's all there. So if, if you wanted to create a Bloom's Gardener's Matrix, what you would do is drag over columns like this. So I'm going to put in another set of four columns there. Four, please. And then I'm going to drag from the left another set of columns up here. Right up there, there we go. And put four there, please. Four. And another four up here. Four. Okay, and you can see I could then give it a heading. So I drag in text, and I might go visual. And here I might type in auditory. Actually, they're probably better off going along the side. So I could do that along the side down here. Visual auditory. I'll drag up more columns up here. Here we go. Another four, please. And then drag up another text box here with a heading. This would be uh, knowing. I'll drag over another one here. Understanding. 
and then maybe creating. So there's not really enough room on the page for a full-blown Blooms Gardeners, but still there's enough to create a, a bit of a table there. And then I can drag over these options into the right space. I can drag in images as well. And you can see how I can begin to lay out a series of options to the kids. I'm just publishing that there. Reloading. See, I'm beginning to put together a, uh, a grid. I might make that font bigger. I can do that with these buttons up here. I can say, no, I want the font bigger with that plus sign. Plus, 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 plus. Oop, maybe too big. I can even drag these columns left and right, like that. So it's pretty much like uh, editing a Word document. Drag them over. Now, if I um, had a video uh, that I wanted to put in there, you might record it on YouTube and then embed it in here. You can do that down here. Um, with a YouTube video, you drag that over. Put that in there. It just wants to know what the YouTube video is. You would do that here we go, just by clicking on it. I just clicked on the video and I can type in the address of the YouTube video, youtube.com slash whatever. Got some options there that I'll let you play with. So you can play with lots of things there. You can even drag over a document. You can um, a Word document for instance. You just drag it over, and then it asks you to upload that document just by clicking on it. Okay, so you upload a document, and bang, it's on the page. So you can just play with the stuff that you put up there.